Hello my soccer universe and while I'm on the roll I might as well look at what happened in the Premier League over the last uh, three weekends as well. I've already done a first uh, Premier League video after match day one but I think with the international break it might be good to look at what's currently the best league in the world as well. And it's also interesting to contrast what we were talking about uh, at the very beginning uh, after the first round and see what's happening now. We really thought that Chelsea might come good. I also thought that Newcastle were the real deal. Boy, 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 does it look different right now. Chelsea looks as much of a mess as they have uh, looked last season. Maybe with a little bit more idea, but they still have a serious lack of leadership. Whereas Eddie Howe and Newcastle got twice so outcoached, or basically lack of uh, coaching in, in a way, to now earn three losses in a row against tough opponents though in Manchester City who still have this very metronomic core quality that is impressive in their perfection however it bores me also so I, I'm very rarely uh, excited to watch Manchester City so they beat Newcastle then uh, Newcastle were man up against Liverpool should have done Lost, 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 lost that one. Then now against Brighton in a similar uh, overran in midfield performance. And Brighton were also a great story. And then uh, it's West Ham go to their place and completely uh, rock their boat as well. So we'll talk about, uh, I mentioned already quite a few highlights there. Uh, we'll talk about these um, in very briefly, if you want to have a little bit more details. I have made community posts, I've been saying this on the Premier League while I was on vacation, probably in weeks where I don't cover the Premier League, I might still do that as well. So check those if you want to have a little bit more. But yeah, highlights from round two. Um, I think Wolves, who played really well at United and were robbed then, duly 4-1 beaten by Brighton. Uh, Spurs... Overall, and Spurs is a real fun team to watch. Suddenly, everyone loves Ange Postecoglou and Spurs, despite losing Harry Kane. And ultimately, it might not lead uh, to a Champions League finish, but at least they're having fun doing so. And this is definitely something you can say. And I probably should have had uh, two early goals potentially, but overall, Spurs were deserved winners. I already said metronomic win by City. Aston Villa bounced back from a 5-1 a drubbing in Newcastle with a 4-0 over Everton with Everton looking really 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 bad and Chelsea had control over that game at West Ham for the longest of times until West Ham came back and beat them and Arsenal kind of stumble and rumble but still get the win at Crystal Palace. I also want to point out that Luton's game was postponed because the ground was not quite ready yet. Yeah well yeah. Then in round three Again, another Spurs win. Only 2-0 at Bournemouth, but this was a really entertaining game of two teams that have a similar uh, idea of playing. Chelsea at least got that win uh, against Luton. Uh, Arsenal though stumble against Fulham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Fulham, they were in the first minute down, and I think the Fulham got an e e e e equalizer. Spoiling the party, it was kind of the first time where you really thought, yeah, there's something not quite right. This is not yet the Arsenal that we know from last season. Everton losing at home to Wolves, Sasha Kalajic scoring, uh, an Austrian of course, um, doesn't look good for him. Everton really, really do not look good. They don't, didn't score in the first three games of the, of the season. United 2-0 uh, down against Forest, fight back, get the 3-2 win, however, yeah, also quite some misgivings. United, for a team that's in the second year with Eric Ten Hag, it doesn't look like an improvement is in sight, uh, I'm sorry to say. And then West Ham, <laughs> pure counter-attacking David Moyes football against Brighton, really exposed balls and games, similar to what Everton did to them at the end of last season. This is what ever, always can happen to Brighton. That's why Brighton will probably not be a Champions League caliber team, although everyone is really, really impressed by them. Villa, another win, 3-1 at Burnley, but Burnley is leaking goals left and right. Uh, City had to have work hard at Sheffield United. Uh, very, very late e e equalizer and... The game of that weekend was definitely Liverpool's win at Newcastle United, where Newcastle United really played well, scored a goal. I mean, Trent and Alexander Auer should have been sent off uh, in the first within the first 10 to 10 minutes. Then Newcastle take the lead. Uh, then Van Dijk is sent off. Also, a red card clearly there again. TAA um, mistake. 
The problem is that with a man up and a goal up, Newcastle didn't go for the juggler because they feared it will happen. What exactly did happen? That they will be caught on the count, 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 count with, with all these uh, da da dangerous Liverpool defenders. And uh, this is something where you have to look at Ed, Eddie Howe. You gotta go for the juggler in these cases. And so Darwin Nunez scores two goals and Liverpool steal a famous win, if you like. And that was trendsetting because if we go now in the past weekend, Liverpool looked like they assured self in a 3-0 win over Aston Villa, where Aston Villa also were completely a caught of God like they were in the first game against Newcastle, giving up a kind of um, ma many goals to the high line and Liverpool just pressing, 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 pressing. It looked really well and Soboschlai seems to be a really, really strong player or already. I believe Arsenal United for last. I want to just uh, mention Luton had the first home game, West Ham win it. West Ham is... Might have a much better better season this time around. You know, winning a uh, conference league might do to the few. Everton scored two goals, two goals. Oh, they were two one down, and the second Sheffield United goal. Ah, uh, not good for Pickford. Let's put it that that, that way. Uh, Burnley Spurs another one. Uh, Son scoring a hat trick. Spurs, as I said, looking really fun. And then Chelsea having all the control that they wanted over. Uh, not 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 nothing for us, but for a score got the one goal. Whereas uh, Chelsea barely created chances, City steamrolling Fulham and Brighton doing the same uh, against Newcastle United uh, a Newcastle team that completely seemed out of sorts, completely overran in the park and Evan Ferguson scoring a hat-trick against them it was 3-0 before they put back a late goal and then there was the case of Arsenal against United a game I couldn't watch because I was in the stadium myself but it was a really really tight game where United had a 1-0 lead through Rashford in 2017 and Odegaard then duly uh, equalized quickly thereafter and then it was a goal that was going forth and for all really really tight tight game horrendous jersey as much as all down to United well I don't mind that jersey per se looking in game in that it, it just looked awful it's too stripy in 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 a way and you know the count counters all also not good I think they, they should have played in a white one or whatever but yeah that's a whole different can of firms. United thought that he had, had, had won it, but Garnacho scored in the 88 and was marginally offside. And then deep in the stoppage time, Declan Rice gets the win of Arsenal, being completely forgotten at the edge of the box. And Gabriel Jesus in the 11th minute of stop stoppage time makes it 3 1. However, we had a penalty called back from foul on Harvards that probably was not a penalty, with Harvards missing an open uh, shot, uh, open net. So, uh, questions of Arsenal still have to, have to be asked. It is not the Arsenal that we have, and also it's not the United. And then Ten Hag coming out and completely denying any obvious signs also didn't, was not a good look. And so, after four rounds, we have the following standings City are perfect, Spurs and Liverpool and West Ham and our, our Arsenal are, are, are right behind. And I would say the first three, actually, they offer something different, but I could see them uh, causing some trouble. I think the one that will probably be sustained is Liverpool, especially now with Grafenberg and so on coming. I think they, they could do something. Arsenal is still in a fine finding phase, and I'm curious what Brighton will uh, do. We have three teams, kind of mid to lower table, Aston Villa, United, Chelsea, where I'm not sure where the, the journey will go. And on the very bottom, uh, all three promoted teams plus Everton. And it increasingly looks like it will be those four teams that battle for the relegation spots. Let's see how it will go forward in my expected model. Everton just escaped. Bournemouth is still in there. But I think uh, once they get the Iraola idea, I think that Bournemouth could do something. I also want to see what Forrest will doing with so many late signings. Uh, can they stay up? I mean, it's funny. Last season, we all thought that Forrest is going down. And now, thanks to the weakness of the promoter teams, it might actually work out for, for them that they are safe for another season. And that's how you establish yourself as a Premier League side. Coming back, I don't think there are any uh, outstanding games, maybe with the exception of Manchester United against Brighton. I want to see what Brighton can do to United away from home. West Ham against City, potential, potential. And then, you know, it's a traditional duel, but I don't expect much from Everton against Arsenal except for an Arsenal. So that was it from me from, from Premier League ahead of the international break. 
Let me know what you thought about the rounds in there. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.